Hey everybody, Matt Burke here. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Dead Stop, Tour of Terror by 656 Comics. Uh, I backed this book a while ago. I've been waiting to, to, to get to it. Um, I've been really busy lately though, man. I've been doing um, uh, metal. I've been writing um, uh, lyrics. I've been working on my book Hell War, uh, writing some some other comics, working uh, with my buddy Brian um, with with the Horror Movie Club, doing um, Open the Gates where creators come on, talks about their, their crafts and campaigns. And um, yeah, this was a fun experience. I got to sit down tonight and have a break in the action and uh, really sit down and read it. And, and it was fun. And uh, I'm going to get into it right now. Uh, this uh, t uh, this was the, the, the Twisted Metal tier, I believe, um, I backed. And it uh, came with this this air freshener right here. It's pretty awesome. I'm torn if I should tear it open and hang it in my car or if I just should leave it as a collector's item. It's, it's kind of hard to kind of hard to choose. Um, but yeah, this is the cover I, I got. The other one was by Rich Ayala, um, which was sick too. But I, I really also like this one. Uh, um, I love the, uh, the the die cut um, uh, th the thing about it. So you, you guys ready? Drum roll. Look at that. You got this this speed demon in here running 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 the show, man. You don't even know he's in there the whole time. Um, right right underneath you, man. You never know what's under the hood. You got you guys got to be careful with that. So this book right here, basically. Um, if you guys are into like Tales from the Crypt, if you've ever watched the show on HBO or read the, the old EC comics, um, it's an anthology. It's a horror anthology, but it's torn. Uh, it's told from the perspective of, um, you know, like a border hoarder. And it's there's a lot of stories in here that are, you know, it's it's a uh, reality is actually stranger than, than fiction. I don't know. It's a good way to put it, but that's that's how it is. A lot of it's just straight up realistic horror. Um, and, and I loved it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is an awesome cover. It's fantastic. Um, let's see, it's the back right here. You got the speed demon character close up and, um, the quality print is fantastic. Love the colors. And this is six, five, six, the crew that put it together. Um, a lot of really cool, um, creators in here. And these are the story. It's a uh, crazy and, uh, uh, Karate. Um, uh, sorry for my pronunciations, burritos, Longos, Latchkey Kid, Junior, Starfish, Boys Night Out, Lady of Sorrows, King of Clowns. So there's a lot of really good ones in here. And uh, this is like the uh, host. He's kind of like kind of like the Crypt Keeper or, you know, uh, or the Witch, you know. Um, or uh, what is it? John Carpenter. I forgot his name. He, he did a horror anthology on Showtime called Body Bags. And he was like this um, dude working in the uh, in the morgue. Yeah, that, that, that one's pretty cool. I definitely recommend that movie. Check it out. I think it's on Tubi right now. But uh, yeah, right here. Name's Crazy, and this is my trusty steed, uh, Car Carante. Hey, how about you join me for some chow? I know a place to die for. Uh, so he basically goes in between the stories, and he's he's um, going on little mini, kind of like little mini quests, little mini adventures, and he's fucking hilarious. He's he's my favorite character in there. Uh, I think they did a really a really cool job with that character. Really really fun addition to the story and creative. Uh, this right here is a. Uh, Burritos Longos. Um, this one's a pretty horrific tale. It's about this um, um, addictive food chain. Well, I don't know about food chain, but um, a restaurant in Juarez where the, the burritos are really to die for. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much because this is actually um, it's it's pretty short of a story, um, but it's 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 uh, really good. It's hilarious, and um, the artwork is killer. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's one of it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, and then you pick up into the next one. Uh, he's he's munching on one of the burritos that that <laughs> is in the story. Um, and uh, the next one is King of Clowns, and this is a crazy story about these um, two uh, clowns that were competing with for um, the, the the King of the Clowns, the best clown in uh, in Juarez, I think, that had a show. And um, it, you know, one of them wins and one of them doesn't. And you guys gotta read it to find out. Um, pretty crazy. Don't want to spoil that one either. I'm trying to go through these. Uh, and then we have a, um, a take, um, I, this, this would be kind of like a, um, a prose slash pulp story within the middle and a little bit of a, a poem, uh, written by Ray Ramos. It's a lady of sorrows and it kind of goes into, um, the state of, uh, La Llorona, where she came from and where she is now and where she's going to be and, uh, where she's been. And, uh, it's really creepy. It's got some really cool imagery in here by, um, uh, Dario and it's a uh, very well written. Um, I was actually reading it to my kid. Uh, she was, she was digging it, you know, each day I become more of a memory or a thought of something that once was more than a ghost, a legend. I'm a legend, but who will learn of me if legends no longer exist? What is a legend? If not a dream that will die. So yeah, this is, 
This is really cool, man. I, I really, I really dug that in the middle. It was a cool, like, little breakup in the, uh, in the action. There's another, uh, creepy little picture right there. That'd be a pretty cool black t-shirt. Um, and, uh, we get into the next story right here. This is the Latchkey Kid. Uh, during this time, I believe there was a, a bunch of gang wars going on, uh, cartel wars in, um, Juarez. And, uh, this is a story about a kid that has to live during it. And he's scared there's something haunting him. Um, at night and you you know you have to watch and see what happens i'm just gonna leave it at that because it's a really short short start uh really short story and i don't want to spoil it this one right here is called junior and this one is um basically about a kid that's becoming um oh a man but he's also becoming 13 years old so he's still pretty pretty young 13 the crazy age and uh yeah man you're gonna have to wait and see what happens to him um once he gets that uh 13 year old present, I guess. This one right here um, is a story that is called uh, Starfish. And uh, it, was, it was a real trippy story, man. Uh, basically, there's this lady um, and she has to um, do things for somebody or else she will get uh, taken out. So she has to make a decision. And what she does is pretty, um, pretty insane, pretty um, unexpected. And uh, yeah, it was quite a quite a twist at the end a starfish if you will and i believe let's see here i believe the last one is um the last one is boys nights out and this was also one of my favorites i actually really liked um the burrito one in the front and um and boys night out this one you're gonna see some tourists come into basically this one's like a slasher uh and I love my slashers. And uh, this one's Boys Night Out. It's a bunch of Americans that come over to Juarez. And, you know, they do the typical American stuff. You know, once they turn 21, they want to, uh, you know, they want to drink. They want to meet girls. You know, all that stuff. And something goes horribly wrong. And um, they end up somewhere. And uh, let's just say they have to uh, deal with this gentleman right here. So if you guys don't know who that is, um, that's the junk man. And uh, he's got a book that's out right now. This is a an in between cool story for that one. So there's a book called uh, Junk Man Give Me Shelter that's out. You guys could back that right now. I'll uh, I'll send you. I'll put a link in the description as well. And um, that's the that's the book right there, man. And uh, towards the end, this little demon starts possibly coming out, and you're gonna have to see what happens right there. And uh, I, I just didn't want to spoil too much, but definitely, guys. Um, you guys are gonna have to check this out when it becomes available again. I give it two horns way up. Dead stop. Tour of terror. I think these guys need to make uh, another one of these. Um, I love to just hear more of the stories. Bring in, uh, you know, bring in some more talent. Um, I know these stories were, um, these stories were uh, some of them were older tales too that they've had for a while, and they were they're itching to 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 bring them out. A lot of people slept on this campaign too. Uh, we have it right here. Um, they they did hit that sweet spot of. Um, of a hundred backers. So that was, that was killer. So there is a lot of people that w that wanted to pick this up and um, let's see. Uh, there's a rich Ayala cover. This one's awesome too, man. It's just hilarious. The, the, yeah. So if you guys want um, just, I could, I, I have a link right here so you guys could check out more of the pictures and stuff like that. The book's not available right now, but it probably will one day. Um, and uh, if you guys want, check out one of the other books that's out right now in stores by six, five, six called the cryptidinals. This is a, a link right here, so you will also um, find uh, another take on La Llorona in, in this. And uh, this is basically, it's hard to, it's hard to say, <laughs> it's like a cross between Lord of the Rings meets cryptids in a border horror epic. That's the best way I could put it. Um, so you guys can check that out. And uh, if you want, check out my book, Butch Cleaver 2. I'm going to be closing this, uh, this campaign in-demand store uh, before Halloween. And uh, if you guys are into horror, you're, you're probably on slashers. You might like this. It's like a spaghetti western meets a um, slasher set in a uh, hammer production. <laughs> and um, it's about this butcher who gets killed and he's brought back to life by a voodoo curse. And that curse gives him the power to weaponize bone on a molecular level. So he's resurrected. Um, he's in this world called Oubliette. It's this crazy gothic um, town with, filled with uh, cathedrals and French quarters and uh, saloons and uh voodoo and <laughs> yeah it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there and uh it's a lot of fun so if you guys want come check it out um i actually have a uh, the books ready to go they're printed right there we we deliver within 24 hours so uh the next uh 
next few backers are going to get, um, you know, if they, whatever, whatever they back either book, I have one and two. Uh, and they're also going to get this big poster right here. It's a one poster, 11 by 17. And these are some of the, uh, these are some of the, um, these are some of the, uh, the, uh, things that come with it. Let me show you guys some of the stuff from the inside. So these are all the, uh, sorry, all the cards and stickers and whatnot that are going to come with the next few backers. And there's that bottle opener right there too. So you guys don't want to miss out on that. Very limited folks. I just have a few left and the campaign is going to close. So definitely guys check out this book when it becomes available again. I was at the beer store today and I came upon this, uh, Awa Santa. And this is a uh, Mexican lager and, uh, looked pretty badass. Made me think of, uh, Make, made me think of the uh, dead stop, and uh, this is a um, a Mexican inspired lager. It's best defined by the word crisp, both dry and refreshing. Agua Santa focuses on a high quality pilsner malt, flaked maize, and noble hops. Agua Santa is a brilliant pale um, straw uh, color with uh, has uh, with subtle aroma of fl floral meadows and a hint of sweet corn. So call up your friends, <laughs> get the barbecue fired up. Yeah. So, yeah, can't pronounce that, but I'm going to go ahead and crack it open. Yeah, I really like this book, and I like the tales, man. A lot of them were, were some were supernatural, and some were just scary because they were real. And uh, I thought that was really cool, just just bringing in, like, horror of something that uh, is um, realistic, you know. And uh, there's a lot of tales to be told down there. Mmm, smells pretty good. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good pretty fucking metal um yeah i like the i like the logo on there there's a fucking i forgot the name of this band but there's a black metal um uh um uh mexican band they're like kind of mayan aztec inspired i've seen them on vok and air live yeah, i forgot the name of them though it starts with a c but yeah give that beer Awa santa two horns way up as always folks thanks for watching Always remember to be bold, be brave, and uh, roll the bones to know your role. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.